uh, welcome to me unshaven and cut and clean. Come straight down from work last night, and I don't know if you recognise behind me, but we're down on the birch. I said I've been here for a very, very long time. Unfortunately, just work's just been crazy. Been squeezing those little sessions down at uh, the new club water. Um, still haven't had any luck down there, but I haven't been there since you last saw me and I lost that fish. But um, yeah, happy days. I said got here last night. Finished work ten o'clock. Jetted up the M4 under a mile an hour. Uh, pulled in and got the rods about half past twelve. Uh, within about ten minutes, I had a bream, which I was over the moon about. Thought I was going to be in for something overnight, but unfortunately, nothing's materialised. Uh, really poor, poor night sleep. Um, just watching, really, because um, I've been here for so long. Just lost touch with the water. But fingers crossed. Now I said down here for um, for sort of twenty four hours. We said last night was. Um, a little bonus really additionally on to what I was going to be doing so I'm off tomorrow afternoon uh, to nip up to uh, First Firth uh, fishing to see the boys up there but uh, I'll go through where the rods are later on uh, and some rigs that I am using and I said I'm not teaching anyone to suck eggs I'm going to know if you don't catch a fish a rig looks stupid but it's said these rigs have sort of honed my uh, combis to make something slightly different uh, change the hook pattern flips really quick so we'll go through that um, and hopefully a fish um, or two maybe and so it is fishing quite quietly at the moment with this dead still water got the zig out and spotting some uh, soup uh, spawning some soup over the top of that so we'll go through that mix as well and how I'm using that so um, yeah catch you in a bit right then as I said this is the sort of spod soup uh, as you can see it's quite it's not really piddly runny um, got enough stodge to it so it's made up with about four or five different types of ground bait um, and as I mentioned before, I've actually used crushed up dog biscuits. You can see them, sort of the, the bigger chunks. Um, what that does is obviously they flutter to the top uh, and rise through the water columns. Also got some floating uh, trout pellet in there, as you saw in the Mark Twait film. You know, ever useful, fantastic stuff. Um, hemp and some heavier sinking pellets. And then two or three different types of oil. What that allows me to do, obviously, is... Um, have the consistency sinking through the water column so you've got bits that go up bits that go down um, and then obviously the bits that stay on the bottom means that in the night I can actually chuck a rig over the top of it because obviously I'm clipped up for the spod clipped up for the um, spawn palmy clipped up for the um, rods it allows me to fish zigs through the day and even though zigs do work in light year I'd rather be fishing on the bottom and trust that I know that it's fishing right for me um, another little tip let's say with this stuff obviously because it's a gloopy horrible mess um, and you don't want to get messy you want to get all your hands in it and get it all over the kit what I've used throwing stick scoop it up get your old uh, where are we there we are get your old spawn I'm using a midi which I find fantastic it means I can cast it with all my rods it means I can cast and clip up and use the same rods and there we go it means that I've now got clean hands to go into my uh, fishing reels and I say, as it comes out, you'll see it will absolutely empty everywhere. It leaves a really heavy slick on the surface and obviously allows me to uh, see where the fish are if there's anything hiding out in that position. Here we are, guys. Effort equals reward finally. Uh, PVA bag cast tight to the weeds uh, against the island. And I said, Ethan told me the old PVA bag method. I was about to reel it in, to be honest. Rain clouds came over the top and uh, five, 30, five, 20 seconds of rain. Well, good morning. Um, as you saw just now, I had a fish uh, just going into sort of dusk last night. Basically, it was just beautiful. Just the rain clouds sort of came over, sky darkened. 10, 20 seconds of rain just seemed to change it. It was on a rig, a PVA bag rig, cast tight into the weeds. Now, just very quickly, so you've seen these on blogs before me, but um, just going to go through. There it is, Ever Faithful S2T um, wafter, but I've actually chopped it down a bit just so it only literally just hovering because obviously I know that that bag is going to open and lay a flat piece of bait on the floor. I know that I can just have it just above the top of that um, to be really well presented. And then with the lead, because obviously it's coming in wet all the time, just basically put it back in your bag, shake it about, dries out really, really quickly. And the thing I wanted to show you more than anything as a sort of confidence tip, really, is to come close to the camera. What I actually use is one of the old uh, castaway PVA zip ties. You 
can actually if you don't know me actually tie the hair you know tight obviously because in a bag people are I say people <laughs> mainly me normally are worried and uh, are worried about uh, the hair coming off you can actually have the hair pinned tight to the bag uh, to the hook for me clip it off and I say it takes about 30 seconds to a minute to melt and then that waft will just pop up to the top so it means that you hook and everything stays underneath instead of the whole bait pulling up the um, hook and pulling it out through the mess you've actually got the hook laying in the surface of it and then that waft have popped up there's simple easy drop off system with this when the actual boom comes out and then lead shakes off really really fantastic I've actually now changed over to two rods um, since putting up the pictures yesterday as it was I got asked why do I dump the lead main reason is because I am tight to these reeds and obviously up against the weed um, it's just a safety thing basically to stop the fish from obviously getting tethered up and get them to the surface and get them in but uh, as I say rods out got another couple of hours left so fingers crossed for possibly another one did lose that one first thing this morning even though I was on it like a jack rabbit but uh, we shall see what happens if not I shall catch you next time Wales. Mm -hmm.